Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch me. Hello VC, hello good people. Cheers and welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Thanks for uh, joining me here today. Always good to see you. So uh, for today's video, this is going to be my contest entry for Elliot Cruz's channel, Lazy Dog Records. Uh, has, uh, he's having his 130 subscriber contest. He's past that now. He's at, uh, what's he sitting at now? Almost 140, no, above 140, almost 150 already. So uh, well done, Elliot. Great channel, very informative. I love how he talks about blues, bluegrass, uh, Americana music, um, Western swing, all that stuff. Great stuff. So uh, he's got four pretty easy questions here, so I'm going to try to do my best. So without further ado, here we go. Question one is uh, local artist. Spotlight local artist. Uh, I had a tough one with this one because the one that I'm going to show was signed to a couple of major labels, but it was so far back that, you know, that's all there were, were major labels back in the day. And I want to talk about this gentleman by the name of Wilf Carter. Wilf Carter on 78 on DECA. Uh, Wilf Carter was known as a Yodeling Cowboy. And he is originally from Nova Scotia, Canada, but he moved here to Calgary, Alberta, in the late 30s, early 40s, and that's when his uh, musical career really kicked off. Um, he was one of those singing cowboy types. Uh, he sang, you know, cowboy music or Western music, I guess you could call it, sort of country music, I guess, or the precursor to what became known as country music. Uh, he would sing, play guitar, and he would kind of do yodels, much in the style of uh, Jimmy Rogers, that sort of thing. Uh, Jimmy Rogers' blue yodels. Or even like a Tommy Johnson, where he would yodel in his falsetto sort of thing. So, uh, Wilf Carter. This is My Prairie Rose, so Decca by Wilf Carter. Um, Calgary here was his base of operations, but he's also known in the States because he traveled and toured quite a bit in the States. He was known as Montana Slim in the U.S. So there are some recordings out there where he goes by the name Montana Slim. But the uh, 78s that I have, Wilf Carter, Wilfred Carter. This is Rattlin' Cannonball on uh, 78 as well. Uh, there you go. I'm sure the 78 there. Uh, I do have the original sleeves for those two but I keep those in a separate bag because I'm rat crazy and I don't want them to get wrecked so I just put them in these new sleeves. So that yeah there you go Wilf Carter one of those Yolan cowboys uh, uh, no band behind him per se although he did have some songs that went uh, that were in some movies in the early 40s like sort of cowboy or western style movies uh, but when he recorded it was himself accompanying himself on guitar and of course his singing and his yodel. Question number two, not my usual. Uh, spotlight uh, an artist or some albums that uh, normally are not in your uh, wheelhouse or in your typical tastes. Hmm, well, uh, let's see here. How about the cramps? It's going to be on CD because I don't have anything on vinyl. I love me the cramps. This is Flame Job. I also have Bad Music for Bad People, which is, I think, sort of a compilation. But uh, that one, my brother's... I loaned it to my brother, and he's got it somewhere in his bedroom, and I'm not going to go in there and dig through there because it's a mess. So it's controlled chaos. It's the, the mess in his bedroom is almost like a living organism into itself. But yeah, there you go. The cramps, flame job. Sort of psychobilly punk, I guess you could say, is kind of how they categorize it or what have you. But yeah, the cramps. Love me the cramps. Good stuff. Uh, question number three, best dressed, dressed to the nines. Oh, that's easy. That is easy. How about Miss, Miss Dinah Washington? Ooh-wee! Talk about dressed to the nines. Look at that. That picture's from the early 40s, and even back then, that's probably a thousand dollar dress. Rhinestones, and, you know, beautiful jewelry. And, uh, you know, she's got big diamond and jewel encrusted rings on her fingers there 
Miss Dinah Washington, always looking absolutely beautiful. She is wearing uh, beautiful flowers in her hair, pearl necklace there. Absolutely stunning woman and an absolutely beautiful voice as well. Dinah Washington, always looking good. Look at that evening gown. Whew. She looks like she belongs on top of a cake. Stunning, stunning voice, stunning woman, class act, Dinah Washington. Number four, autographed. Uh, I don't have a lot in autographed albums, but I have a couple of autographs. Uh, first one that I'm going to show, Mr. Buddy Guy, as you can see there, Buddy Guy, 2001. Uh, this is when I was working at Harry Rosen, which is a high-end men's clothing store here in Calgary. Um, 2001, obviously, Buddy Guy was in town. I think he was promoting his uh, Skin Deep album. He was touring to promote that album. I believe that was 2001. Um, and at that time, John Lee Hooker had just passed away. So the night before, Buddy had done his show, which I went to see, and it was fantastic. Uh, the next day, here I am at work, just working away there in the suit department at Harry Rosen. And who walks in? Mr. Buddy Guy. Well, of course, I lose my mind and flip my lid, but I'm trying to maintain my professional composure. Nobody else that I worked with even knew who he was or recognized him, but I did. I knew right away who this guy was, so I came walking up to him, professionally trying to contain my excitement, and uh, started talking to him. And I found out that he had come in to buy a suit because John Lee Hooker had died, and uh, he, was, he didn't have time to go home, get a suit, then fly down to the funeral. So what he was going to do was buy the suit at Harry Rosen, Come back in about an hour after we kind of just touched up the tailoring, you know, the sleeve length and the, put a nice cuff on the pants for him and everything. Picked up a suit, shirt and tie, a nice pair of shoes and the whole, whole works. I helped him out. Beautiful man. Uh, very down to earth. I've, I've talked about him many times. He's a very kind, gracious man. Funny as hell. Uh, you know, um, Southern hospitality. He grew up in Louisiana before he moved up to uh, Chicago. So uh, just a salt of the earth. Beautiful man. We got on like gangbusters. He was surprised that I even recognized him and knew who he was. And I'm like, come on, man. You're but a guy. What's wrong with you? Of course, I, I'm going to recognize you. So I wasn't about to run out of the store on my shift and run, you know, a couple of doors down in the shopping mall to pick up a buddy guy CD or a record and have him autograph it for me. But I was uh, brassy enough, if you know what I'm saying, to ask him for his autograph. And he was very gracious and said, yeah, absolutely. So he signed this autograph there for me. But I do have another autographed album that's, uh, or another autograph that's on an album and it's addressed specifically to me. And it's actually a local act who actually isn't really on a major label. So it's kind of question one and question four together. And I've shown this one recently. This is uh, my cousin, actually, my long lost cousin, Anne Brand. She's from um, here in Alberta. I'm in Calgary. She lives up in Edmonton. And uh, she was touring to promote this album a few years back. For the people in the meantime, and I helped her out uh, doing some promotional work here locally in Calgary and uh, helped secure a small venue here for her, as well as some other venues that she had already secured uh, to tour around here in the city. And as a thank you, of course, she gave me a bunch of free tickets and a bunch of posters and all kinds of stuff like that and uh, gave me this CD that she autographed here. You can see, to Chris, you rock and friend. And uh, fantastic album. I think I've mentioned before that uh, she looks like a fashion fashion runway model, but she sounds like Aretha Franklin. And that's no joke. I'm not just saying that because we're long lost relatives. This girl's got a set of pipes on her. She can sing. She can sing now. Come on now. And actually, you know, she's dressed to the nines too. Nice, yeah, well dressed young lady too. So yeah, there you go. And friend with the autographed CD for yours truly, Blues Guy. Uh, very soulful style of music, very much in the vein of, uh, like I said, uh, that sort of, uh, you know, soul stylings of Aretha Franklin, uh, you know, a bit of Motown kind of thrown in there as well. Lovely voice, very talented. She plays keyboard. She plays uh, a couple of, I think, wind instruments. She plays the hell of a gazoo, too. How often do you see that, right? A gazoo? Hmm. Pretty good. Uh, so there you go. That's it, my contest entry.
for Lazy Dog Records there, Elliot Cruz's channel. Uh, again, if you haven't already, please head over to his channel and, and subscribe. He's fantastic. He's got, again, a, a great assortment of musical tastes. His focus is something that uh, I really enjoy and I'm, I want to learn more about, and that's sort of bluegrass and roots music, Americana music, Western swing, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, tells a lot of great stories, very informative. So it's not just, you know, a lot of show and tell and that's it. Uh, you know, he, he gets a lot into some of the artists and uh, it's just uh, a terrific channel. And I hope that he explodes because it's very great, very laid back. And of course, he's got his dog Chester there, the lazy dog. So, hey, Chester, how you doing? And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put the link to Elliot's channel in the description box here below. And I would suggest, of course, that you uh, head over there, subscribe, show him some support. Uh, part of the um, uh, the prize, I guess, for this contest is he's going to make a donation to the um, Music Maker Relief Fund, which is an organization that helps to support artists when they've fallen on hard times, uh, ill health, or they have medical bills, or they're getting on in years and can no longer perhaps independently look after themselves as much as they used to in the young days. So very worthy cause and along with that i think he's given away a record as well which is which is great but uh, yeah fantastic contest very uh, i like the idea of that donation that's uh, uh, you know that's uh, that's kind of the the kind-hearted uh, gentleman that uh, elliot seems to be so uh, there you go so that's going to do it here today short and sweet for your blues guy vinyl thanks again for joining me really appreciate all that support you know do all the youtube things and of course, don't forget, keep digging and keep spinning. All right, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.